Have you ever wanted to time all types of short intervals, and especially velocity of projectiles, or a person's reaction time? If so, you are in luck, because that is the very definition of the word chronoscope, which is Omega's latest Speedmaster variant. No, this is not the bizarre and strangely attractive DeVille chronoscope that came out in 2007. This is something new, but based on something old, which is the Omega Chronograph 33.3 from 1940. The new Speedmaster chronoscope really captures the 1940s snail design dial and includes the same telemeter, pulse meter, and chronograph, but cleverly places the tachymeter around the bezel instead of the edges of the dial. Is this another vintage homage watch though, or is it secretly holding some innovative and killer new features that Omega has bestowed upon this Trojan horse of a vintage Speedmaster? What's up everyone, it's Chris with the Little Treasury Channel. Welcome back. This is where we bring you awesome watch content at least once a week. If you haven't already, please make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be alerted as soon as we upload. I'm from Little Treasury Jewelers, which is located in Gambrels, Maryland. And it's where you go when you're in the know. As always, the watches that I review are for sale and can be purchased, so please see the description below to contact us. If you're just joining us, I'll go over the watch's detailed features and measurements, and then at the end, I'll offer my humble opinion. In our last video, we reviewed the phenomenon known as the Seiko Speedtimer SSC813. This watch is a great looking value packed solar powered chronograph that looks like something far more expensive. And I recommend watching the video just to see what people are talking about. Wrist check time. An Omega video means an Omega watch. And my current Omega watch is the Seamaster Professional in the blue dial, which I picked up because I used to want this watch when I was a kid, when the first Seamaster Professional came out with the GoldenEye movie. A fun fact, if you do play the GoldenEye video game, you'll see the Seamaster dial markers on the watch that's in the pause menu. Now tell me which watch you're wearing while you're watching the video, and make sure to tell me why. Now let's get on to the features. The Omega Speedmaster Chronoscope has a 42.6 millimeter case width, a 12.8 millimeter thickness, a 48.5 millimeter lug to lug, a 20.6 millimeter lug width, and weighs in at 144.82 grams. The case has a brushed area along the inner area of the lugs with a swoop of high polish on the edges and more matte finish on the sides. The crown is not screwed down and has the Omega logo on the top. We have round simple pushers for the chronograph start, stop, and reset. The bezel is made out of anodized aluminum and is in black with white and red type for the tachymeter scale. The tachymeter is basically used to tell how fast an object is moving in kilometers per hour. The crystal is box style and is sapphire with anti-reflective coating on both sides. The dial is in a silver tone with a record style ring at the edges and a slightly textured area in the center. Along the outermost edge, you will see minute and split second ticks in black. The dial markers are in black and they're all Arabic numerals for all of the hours, except you will see that the three marker is sort of there with the chronograph subdial marker taking its place. I'm not sure if this was intentionally clever or not. The nine is actually missing though. Omega can be found printed on the dial in the center with the logo above the Speedmaster below in black. You have a telemeter grade along the outer edge of the dial in black, which is basically used to track how far away an event is from you. For example, when you see the flash of an artillery shell, you turn it on. And when you hear the explosion, you would turn it off. And this will determine how far away the explosion was. In the center, you have a pulse meter in red, which is graduated for 30 pulsations. And this is used to determine a living creature's pulse rate. You would turn it on while feeling a pulse and count 30 pulses out. And where the hand points is what your pulse rate per minute is. The hour and minute hands are leaf style and are also in black. The second hand for the chronograph is silver and red, which reminds me of a gate arm of a railroad crossing perhaps, or maybe a candy cane. The subdial at the left is black and used for the actual seconds. It has a silver toned hand and numerals, and the telemeter grade runs through it in gray with the pulse meter running through it in red. The subdial at the right portion is for your chronograph hour and minutes and has a black background with white indices, but has red hands, one for the hours and one for the minutes. 
It also has a gray telemeter and red pulse meter grades running through it. Coaxial and master chronometer can be found at the bottom middle portion. No loom is present on this watch in any form. The case back is open and shows off this stunning 9908 caliber, which is gloriously shown in a very large sapphire window. The movement is Omega's 9908 caliber, which is a coaxial master chronometer movement, which means it will have a six to eight year service interval, a zero to five second per day accuracy, and anti-magnetism to 15,000 gals. It beats at 28,800 beats per hour and has a 60 hour power reserve. And this one is manual wind, so you will have to interact with this watch every two and a half days to wind it. The bracelet is the new Speedmaster 5 link style bracelet that has a matte finished large links with high polished smaller ones. But you will have a big secret upgrade here over the standard Speedmaster Moonwatch bracelet. And that is, although the clasp looks practically identical with the lines and the Omega logo, it has a hidden push to micro adjust built in. The Omega Speedmaster Chronoscope is 50 meter water resistant, so no diving with this one, folks, and is ready to make you critically think about timing many new facets of your life for a price of $8,650. Now for my humble opinion. Okay, so let's address number one. Is this watch too busy? I'm going to say at first glance, yes, but after looking at it for a bit and understanding what it represents, it's actually very well thought out, and I think that it actually looks relatively clean. It is another one like the Seamaster 300 that has a vintage look to it, but is actually loaded with clever new features. I probably won't use the telemeter, but just having this and thinking about all the timing functions that it can do mechanically for you versus your cell phone is pretty amazing. The micro adjust on the bracelet is a game changer, and people are going to want to retrofit this on other Speedmasters for sure. This one looks great on my six and a half inch wrist, and I'm very happy with the fitment. I also must say that the color combo on this one is just so striking and it looks very unique, and not like a homage to other popular chronographs. This is just a more fascinating version of the Speedmaster, and if the Moonwatch isn't sophisticated enough for you, or if you want a vintage inspired look, and four timing complications in one place, then this watch is absolutely for you. Thanks for watching today, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please make sure to smash that subscribe button, give this video a like, and share it with your friends and your family too. I look forward to seeing you next video.